Welcome to the 2024 Country Conference and I'd like to declare the conference open. I'd like to acknowledge that we're meeting on the, on the lands of the Gadigal people, the Gadigal people of the Eunora Nation. I really want to thank all of the delegates in this room for what you do because you are often the only, um, you know, the, the only thing between our members and the boss are you, you know, as a general rule on a day-to-day -day basis. You, you also have this leadership role that public servants often take, you know, uh, you see them stepping up and being coaches of football teams or soccer teams, um, they're taking uh, roles on committees in town, um, organising shows. Uh, public servants are leaders in our community, you know, and they're leaders not because of the, just the work they do, but because of the ethics that they uphold and their service to the community as a priority. Can I acknowledge um, all of the office holders um, of the PSA here? but um, most importantly acknowledge all you delegates because there is no union without its delegates and um, in my work um, I meet a lot of delegates of different unions and um, I know the good work that you do, uh, you do it unpaid and as I said there is no union uh, without its delegates. As you can see every single LGA in the state has been affected. We've had 154 natural disasters and 130 LGAs impacted since 2019. So four restructures and four changes of name for this particular organisation since then. PSA Annual Conference, 125 years, honouring our past, building our future. I would like to declare the conference officially open. Wow, 125 years, a celebration of an annual conference that's one of the oldest in the country. As always, the conference, it's about you, uh, this conference. It's about informing you of the many issues that we face as a union. It's also about acknowledging you and thanking you for the critical role that you play uh, as workplace delegates standing up for our members on a daily basis. As Premier, I wanted to speak directly with the people who make my job possible in this state. The people who keep this state running every day, on every shift, in every corner of the state. All of it, every single part of it, is essential work. All of it is required for a great society and a strong community. All of it underpins any part of economic success that's enjoyed by the private sector and all of it is down to the people in this room. Two minutes was all it would have taken for me not to be here today. So as I say I'm one of the lucky women that get to stand here and talk about my story and when I went down to his shed he had his angle grinder and he'd cut off both the heels of, of my boots on that day. So this, these are the types of things that you're living with day in and day out before you show up with a smile on your face at work trying to pull through the day. It frustrated us enormously as your union, as a public sector union to go hey our members should be in this debate, our members services should be in this debate. Some delegates that are heavily involved in their work in domestic violence, in the field of domestic violence, and I'm really, really proud to have these five delegates here because they are five of our absolute best. And I see the theme of the conference is uh, honouring your past. So that part was fulfilled by speaking to me or inviting me to come along. <laughs> um, and building your future. And of course that, in this context, relates to the new um, legislative scheme. There are whole families in New South Wales surviving on one Centrelink payment, when in fact all members are arguably entitled to some kind of a payment. That leads to extreme poverty, and we are trying to do something about that. Today's panel is going to be on the councils that we have. The idea of that Australia is a multicultural society. Why are we not looking at that range of voice as well on issues? Yep. Um, and the biggest thing I think, as a PSA as a whole, we need to start. We need to look at converting the membership to being more engaged. I like to share a little a, a learning from one old uncle. That's Uncle Martin. He's from up on the north coast, but this is from Uncle Max who passed now. He says you've got to give it away to keep it. Oh, I wonder. You've got to give knowledge away to keep it. You've got to give caring away and sharing away to keep caring sharing. You've got to give respect to keep respect. And I want to commence my words to you by saying to you, never underestimate that you're in the right place at the right time.
And while I'm serving the nation at the moment as a senator, I stand alongside you as an Australian citizen serving your nation. My passion is about disability inclusion, so anything we can do to make the public sector and New South Wales more inclusive of people with disabilities really my goal. So we saw under the previous government the number of people with disabilities basically halve in the public sector. And so we've got a lot of work to do and I think with Kate we're working with Get Skilled Access which is Dylan Alcott's organisation to go in and have a bit of an audit and look and how we can tweak and change things to make things better. And I find that's why the Paralympic movement is so connected because we are very vulnerable. We do share, we do connect. And in a way, you know, when we all show, show parts of ourselves and become vulnerable, we just really become human in the best way possible. We, base, we placed value on people who were showing the values that we appreciate, and that's being loyal, proud and fierce within our team.